Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, I am turbocharging my Miata. So this is going to be more of a budget setup, although I will be doing the Mega Squirt route and getting that properly tuned. But I will be using a Chinese turbo and mostly just Chinese parts. Uh, that's where Max Speeding Rods actually helped me out. They sent me a turbo and some intercooler piping. So big shout out to Max Speeding Rods. But uh, I'm also going to be doing a lot of the fabrication myself on this car. Uh, but don't be discouraged guys, this is going to be not quite challenging and I'm hoping to get it done in like a month. Just going to be working uh, at it in between builds. But uh, with that being said guys, let's get the turbo mounted and get this build started. Alright, so I got the bolts off and what I think I'm going to do is just cut it right there. That way I won't have to unbolt those bolts. Um, cause we're not going to be reusing the exhaust. All right. So we got the headers cut off there at the bottom. There they go. So here's the exhaust manifold that I chose. This is a top mount T3 flange. Um, this is like the only top mount I could find that was a, a good price. So let's go ahead and mount it. Alright guys, so this is a T3 flange and my turbo is a T28 flange. So I had to get an adapter because I don't want to mess this manifold up. I do need to take the strubber off and I don't think it even does anything. It's really thin. Yeah, literally it's too flimsy to actually even work. Alright guys, so Max Speeding Rods helped me out a ton with this build. They sent me their GT2871 Turbo, as well as a bunch of intercooler piping. About this turbo, this is a, their upgraded street version, valued around $300. Um, the impeller, it might be billet. The reason why I chose a 28 series is because I want the quick spool. And I'm not necessarily going for big power off the line. Although it'd be good to do that in the future and get some big power. The turbo is clocked different orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and clock it the right way and also put on the oil fittings. So yeah, the turbo is good like this. The oil feed is at directly at the top. So gonna tighten the housing back down all right guys so the adapter ended up making the turbo too tall so the hood wouldn't close and it just I just didn't like it um, now some of you might say why don't I just buy a cast manifold well this is a 1.8 liter and they actually do not make uh, top mount cast manifolds for them that are like under $300 so I went ahead and just cut the t3 flange off and I'm going to weld in a T28 flange. I'm going to use uh, TIG weld and stainless filler. And I think it should turn out good. So check that out. We got the new flange welded on. Really happy with how it turned out. So yeah, let's go ahead and put this on the car. All right, and on goes the turbo. So we're gonna go ahead and clock the turbo 
and uh, we want the oil feed on top. So uh, I'd say that's good right there. Alright guys, so now that we got the turbo bolted on, I'm going to start working on the cold side of the turbo, uh, all the intercooler piping and stuff. And then after that, the plan is to run the oil lines and then we'll be able to start it. I still need to locate my wastegate, which I'll work on later. All right guys, so the plan is to run an over the top intercooler setup inspired by cashed out cars. So it's entirely possible, although for uh, to clear this, we're gonna have to use two inch aluminum tubing, um, which is not gonna be the best for flow, but I'll make it work. So in order to get the hood to close, we have a tight radius aluminum elbow right here, and then another tight radius silicone coupler, and it'll go into another 90 degree. And for here, what I'm going to do is weld on this uh, elbow right here to give us uh, the proper angle we need to clear this motor and go into here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the turbo off again, take this housing off, and basically weld this 90 on there. I just, just need to be really careful with this impeller. Alright guys, so check that out, the welds turned out fantastic. Alright guys, so here is that elbow all nice and welded, and here's the plan. As you can see, it basically misses that power steering reservoir, and it goes, it's a straight shot right into that hole which is exactly how we want it to be now the hood won't close over this over this uh two and a half inch piping so what we're gonna have to do is splice in some smaller diameter two inch piping that way the hood closes Alright guys, so here it is, the cold side of the turbo, so it's going to go down into the intercooler and then back up, and like this, the piping is relatively simple and relatively just straight, so not much bends to do, and you can also do all of this without welding it, it's just going to take a lot more silicone couplers. So uh, yeah, in the next episode I'm going to work on the oil lines, and then getting the hot side of the turbo done. Uh, we'll mount our mega squirt. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and let me know what I can improve on. I have to catch you in the next one. Peace.